Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet for complete beginners. So what you're going to need is some yarn, some scissors, and a crochet hook. I am using a 6mm crochet hook. It's a pretty big one, but you can use any size you want. Let's get started. So we're going to start by learning the slip knot. So you're going to take your tail end of the string and if you're a righty you're going to put it in your left hand and then you're going to take the longer end of the string and cross it over the short end put the longer end in the loop and take this loop put your crochet hook in it and pull both, both strings to, pull, to tighten it pull the long string and to loosen it pull a short string. When you tighten it, don't tighten it all the way up. Make sure there's some space in between the hook and the knot. So now we're going to learn how to do a chain. So, to chain, to make a chain stitch, you're going to start you're going to start by wrapping the yarn over and putting the front yarn in the top of the hook and pulling the bottom yarn over the hook just like that and then you can do that as many times as you need to make your project as long as it needs to be or as wide here's how you do it again wrap it around tuck this in the hook and pull it over and if you're having a little bit of trouble, what I did when I learned how to do this was I wrapped it around and I used my fingers to lift the loop over. Okay, so I went ahead and did a couple of these. So the next step, this I'm going to teach you a single crochet. It's one of the easiest stitches. So in each chain, there's a little loop on the top and a little loop on the bottom. So you're going to want to insert the hook in the loop on the top so that you have two loops on your hook. And then you're going to scooch those back a little bit and put the yarn over the hook and pull just the first loop off your hook. So now you have two loops on your hook again. And then wrap the yarn around and pull both loops over the hook and that's the first stitch and then you're just going to move on to the next chain so go ahead and find the next chain put your hook in wrap the yarn around pull just the first loop over two loops wrap it around and then pull both loops over and then go to the next chain go in around out around both and then you just do this all the way down to the end and then you go in the last one around out around and both so then it should look like this and now to make it even taller you're gonna chain one so around and through and then you're gonna turn the project around just like that and go back the other way so start in the first one in around out around both in around out around both in around, out, around, out both. And then just keep doing that all the way down so that your project is how long or how wide you want it to be. And you can make pretty much anything with this method by adding more chains when you start or just doing this a lot more to make it a lot longer. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!